We are the Council of Nine. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. What is it that you would have with us? Um, can you explain what it is? Not really, but I will try. We are nine different beings from different places. We come together because we have agreed that there are things in the universe that need to be worked on in a more spiritual nature, not just political, but in a more uplifted thought process. We as the Council of Nine are actually a commune, which is to say that our thoughts gather as one. In the center of our council, there is a place where all thoughts are brought together and dispersed one to another. So we may be thinking many thoughts at one time, but we are all communicating together. Spiritual. Um, uh, well, there well, have been times when we have not just been spiritual, but we are more dedicated to that than any other thought process. So what is your uh, separation or what kind of roles do you play compared to the Galactic Council? We follow the Galactic Council when it comes to rules and regulations. We are not above the law, but mm -hmm. we do make many suggestions on how to raise spiritual awareness in many different cultures. There are many cultures in this galaxy and in this universe that are not aligned with positivity. And therefore, this gives us a great deal of work to do to try to educate and make them aware of how positivity can change the way that they live in a very good way. But you see, understanding of the word positive and good can be misconstrued by those that twist meanings and twist understandings. Yes. Can you give me some uh, history of Council of Nine and what you have achieved? We have achieved some ambassadorship to your planet. There are those that we channel through to bring through very important messages to your people. That is one thing that you will be able to relate to as a human being. Yes. In other worlds, we have uh, been able to settle some disputes, we have been able to uh, recognize when people are heading in the wrong direction and only when they know who, the, who beings from other worlds are would we dare to make ourselves know. If we were not, if you were not aware of us, we would not show ourselves to you. But since you are, we do speak to you. Now, you say, well, how did you get to know us? Someone called on us as the Council of Nine. And therefore, we figured their psyche had reached out and touched us, and we should respond. Many times this happens in other places as well. But we have resolved many differences. We have taught how to use certain medications and herbs to some people who asked for that for our, for our assistance. We were a great deal of part of your Indian culture at one time and taught great medical works and things to them. Now we have many different names when writing the things that they did, but we were from beyond their world. And there is much information that we left behind. You have not even been able to find it or decipher it all yet, but it will come to pass. How ancient are you? 
We have been together for over, I do not know how to translate it into human years, but in light years, for well, 17 and a half light years. Um, I don't think it is translated though, because light year is a measure of distance, not time. Yes, oh. it is. You're correct. One moment. Uh, basically, the question is, have you been uh, in existence before the life on Earth appeared? Yes. Oh, I see. Uh, have you been in existence before the planet Earth appeared? No. I see. I think the life on Earth was created maybe three billion years ago. I'm not sure, but some, some, some long time ago. Okay. Um, so what is, uh, do, do, is it only nine spiritual beings? Are you, are you in physical bodies at all? Some may say we look physical and some may say we do not. Depends on what dimension is visiting us. But we are from all dimensions in some ways. We are uh, uh, connected to all dimensions. When you come to our uh, perception, do you have any uh, recognizable shapes? We come as orbs sometimes, if that is the right word. Mm -hmm. They would be an interesting clear silver orb. Oh, I see. So is there a way to recognize it, that it is you? Clear silver orb. All right. Because there is, I think it's hard to tell apart the clear silver orb from any other orbs. It's very Perhaps uh, approximate. Those that have the correct vision and fourth dimensional energy open within them will be able to distinguish the orbs as they are. There are new orbs which are human spirits and there are dark red, which are non-human spirits. And then there are galactic beings. And, mm -hmm. and you, they will know who they are. I see. Uh, are you uh, working by yourself or are there like uh, uh, your agents, like secretaries and uh, other agents which work for you? We work alone. I see. Uh, so you are responsible for spiritual side of the evolution. Uh, is there like uh, a part of Galactic Council which works on that as well? There are those that are within the Galactic Council that have great spiritual understanding, but that does not mean they represent the whole council. I see. So the Galactic Council is more secular than spiritual. Yes. I see. Is there any other spiritual entity, like uh, any other council which works on spirituality in the galaxy uh, other than the Council of Nine? The L Collectives are spiritual councils as well, but they have specified and specific reasons for existing. Uh-huh. Uh, so, uh, in the New Age community, there is a, a, a new special, an earth. there is a new special way of looking at God and uh, Mother, Father, God, and um, uh, definition of God as all that is and so on. So, how your uh, image of God or your understanding of God is different from ours in New Age community? The purity of God cannot be explained. And they cannot be encountered fully, and it cannot be perceived in its wholeness. Therefore, I believe you share that in some ways, except for the fact that we actually know more about him than you, and how many different facets of intellectualism, knowledge, and perceptions that we have learned from him. 
you are still learning many, many things. We have just learned more, that's all. Of course. Um, so how do you see further, further interactions between the humanity and the coastal of, of nine? What, what would you like to see done? First of all, you would have to ask for us to help you. We will not just intrude. But if you ask us to help, we will be very willing to come and bring information to you that is of great value to your people. There are those that are on your planet already for this exact purpose. They are creator beings that are within your realms, that are rising up and starting to understand their purposes. They have not yet come into uh, their own, but they will shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, they is there a to go to your planet because they saw the great need for the light to be held in a much higher way than it was being upheld before. So that is why they are there. Can you recommend any books or movies which were dictated by you or influenced by you so we can recognize more of your teachings? I believe one of them, well, the books in the Indian culture, the Bhagavad Gita and those that are surrounded are some of the books that we have brought to your culture. Um, Hold on a second. Uh, I think her name is Ashayana Dayan. Are yes. you recognizing it? Is she? Uh, is her books also dictated by you? We know who she is, and she does represent our thought process. I see. Thank you. How about uh, Urantia book? A uh, writing a book. Ura Urantia. Urantia. Yes. Or you Urantia. Remember, some of these were said to have been brought by specific individuals. We have names as individuals as well. But when we speak to you like this, we are all one. Oh, I see. So do you want to describe who these individuals are or you want to be represented always as a collective? We want to be represented at this time as a collective. We find that humility is the best presentation for a good example to a species that is not knowing who we really are. We do not want to seem arrogant or condescending because you are equal to us in spiritual value. I see. Thank you. Uh, can uh, is is a uh, the number nine of yours, can it be represented as a geometrical figure, uh, flat or uh, in, uh, in 3D? There are many reasons for the number nine. The number nine is a completion number. And mm -hmm. so we are the complete council for the spiritual thoughts. We entertain and embrace all spirituality and listen to all religions and forms of spiritual encounter. The nine also represents the beginning of the spiral, which is that of the creation of energy and vortexes. We, it also continues into the thought that it is an internal spiral, spiral and we will be here forever to help those that need us if we um if we can help now remember we are a, a rather spiritual council we have taken with god an oath that we will stay the same and not change unless it is for the good or positive or toward god in any way but will not let him down. Wonderful. Uh, just yesterday, I got uh, a letter from uh, someone spiritually, uh, so a good channeler, from a good channeler, 
uh, saying that I'm making mistake. I'm making a mistake in my book about the reincarnation. They said that reincarnation is not actually coming back. It is something else that uh, there is nothing uh, that the soul once it's incarnated, it is exists in that shape and it is not coming back in the same shape on the planet. And then uh, so it is always a new a new soul sort of a new a new entity is created every time the, the soul is incarnated. Can you clarify that? That is a belief system that is held by some. But if it was true, then you could have no past life regressions and could not learn from any of your, the Akashic records. It would not make any sense to you. There would be no reason for Akashic records if you came back in a form that could not understand a previous form. Okay. Thank you. I understand. Um, how much of your work is uh, with the discarnate human spirits uh, compared to the work with, uh, with incarnated? We work with incarnate spirits all the time. And actually, if they come to us, we help them and guide them to where they need to go. Some, we also let them have their free will. If they wish to go somewhere other than the light, we do help them do that, but we do not send them into any negativity. Uh, I assume there is a lot of uh, activity happening in the spirit world with the human uh, collective, which is outside of physicality. Are you represented there as well? And do you work with them as well? There are, we can be considered outside of physicality as well, so yes. We can be considered inside of physicality, so we can be considered in many ways multi multi dimensional. Right. Uh, thank you. Uh, are you working with the ascended masters of the humanity? We speak to ascended masters very often. Mm. Which ones? Which ones are most uh, working with you? There are, but you, it does not matter. They are from other different worlds. You would not know who they are. But they're the ones that, that come to your planet that we work with mm -hmm. are named Ish. And there is another one called, uh, well, there are several that we work with from your planet. Mm -hmm. And um, they take on many different names. And so it's, I do not know what name they go by on your planet, but there are many ascended masters from your planet. Jesus is one. Mm -hmm. He is son of God, but ascended master creator being also. He can um, be in many forms and is associated directly with God. The Holy Spirit also. I see. Uh huh. These are some of the ascended masters you may know of. There is one called Vishnu. Mm -hmm. So we work with them, yes. Uh, other than humans, uh, which uh, other spiritual, uh, which other life forms on the planet are in, co in contact with you? Are what? Which other f life forms on our planet are in contact with you other than humans? We deal with all other species, but not all of the entire species, but those that recognize us from each species, we do work with. Like, uh, do you communicate directly to the planet itself? Yes. Mother Gaia is one of our friends. Uh huh. Uh, are you? Is the ocean itself uh, conscious, and uh, how, how much it is involved in spirituality? Is the ocean what? Is the ocean uh, a separate entity, and is it involved in our communication with you? Yes and no, but there I are see. many creatures within the ocean that are connected with us 
the dolphins, the whales, and the other species therein that hold light for your planet are connected to us and talk to us frequently. The Whale and Dolphin Alliance of Pleiadia and Andromeda are some of the great uh, peacemakers in the galaxy, in your galaxy. I see. Wow. Uh, I'm running out of time, and I had the last question of uh, uh, who, who else should I meet? Uh, who would you recommend to meet who I didn't speak before? I do not know who you should meet. It depends on your needs. Uh, any of your close associates, friends, and uh, uh, in humanity, maybe? Some uh, ascendant masters, what you recommend? or With their please? permission, they will come. Uh -huh. And you will meet them because your desire is high to meet them. You are already calling them to you. Uh huh. We will make sure that this happens. I just uh, recently thought that maybe mushroom collective of the earth should should be called and uh, bacteria collective of the earth. Do you In think a bacteria are very spiritual? Bacteria, I do not know how spiritual bacteria is. We are not acquainted. I see. I see, because my theory shows that possibly they are all, have a hive mind and maybe they're more uh, spiritual than... Perhaps we know people. them as some other kind of entity other than bacteria. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see. And... Um, they may have a name for themselves other than the ones you use. I see. So, so for, the, for the closing, do you, uh, would you like to give us a blessing to the, to the viewers of the, uh, of the Hukula yeah. channel? There are those on your planet that are great leaders, spiritually and morally. So therefore, we ask that you would turn your sights to them and not give in to a great deal of violence or negativity. We know that it is part of who you are and part of every species to have some negativity. This is not of your fault, but it is of your nature. But we ask that you cleanse yourself and open your eyes to a greater existence. This will help you to move faster on your journey to the ascension. Also, your evolution and your time of evolution will be a lot calmer and more beautiful. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Greetings, and we will let you go for now. Greetings, thank you much.